I try not to post anything negative on this channel or too negative on this channel. However, I've had enough of Goazy motorcycles. This saga begins back in 2022. Uh, this bike reached 18,000 miles and was ready for its quote unquote big service. Valve adjustment, the whole nine yards. I called in advance, way in advance, to get an appointment, and I asked that they please order in any parts that they need to, and I wasn't in a super big hurry. Uh, set up the appointment, and they said, well, our guy uh, that works on these older bikes uh, is, uh, is not in. I said, that's not a big deal. Let's get him in if that's the guy that I need. Um, I'm not in a big hurry. Let's set this up. So we got an appointment set up. Unfortunately, uh, they did not order in uh, the parts at all. Three months later, I get my bike back. So three months later, I get my bike back. They deliver it uh, for free. Uh, and that was a disaster. Uh, my wife was at home. I was working, uh, paying for this thing. And I got home excited to see it and my wife tells me a story that they sent a guy barely over five feet tall about 70 years old and nearly dropped my bike a couple of times my wife isn't capable of of moving around a 500 pound uh adventure bike and apparently neither was he well when i got home i was excited to get my bike and wanted to take it for a test drive and make sure that all was well all was not well the clutch just seemed rather odd just wasn't acting right it didn't let out at the right spot okay maybe they adjusted the adjustable clutch lever maybe something else is going on i'm not sure so i take it for a test drive i took it for three test rides each time it got worse and the third time the clutch was non-existent i get on the phone with go az motorcycles in scottsdale their service manager and I said, um, my clutch is completely messed up. Not blaming them, I just said, I've got a problem and I need your help. And I got back, we don't know what happened to your clutch in the time that you've had it, three hours, and you could have done anything to it. Uh, we're not responsible and basically almost click. So I called Go AC Peoria and I told them of my problem and they looked into it and said, bring the bike down, we'll take a look at it. And what they found in there was mineral oil. There was mineral oil where there should be DOT5 in the hydraulic clutch setup. What that did was it um, uh, puffed up, um, I don't know what the proper term is for that, however, the entire rubber system in that was destroyed. The, the um, uh, little grommet that goes at the top of the um, well up there, um, master, master cylinder, the entire tube, the slave cylinder, the entire thing was completely destroyed by putting mineral oil in there when it should have been dot five. So after some wrangling and negotiation, uh, Peoria Go AZ uh, worked it out to send my bike back over to Scottsdale and have them replace the master cylinder, the uh, hydraulic hose, and the slave cylinder. Um, it took some wrangling even for them to get this fixed. I did, had some past history with the service manager at the Peoria Go AZ location. I think that's probably the only what reason why I ended up having this fixed so no harm no foul it was fixed I'm a reasonable man and it was only about a month and a half later that I got my bike back again moved on with my life this is fine like I said I got my bike back um, however it has taken me a couple of years to get the 4,500 miles that I serviced this bike at um, I've got a couple other bikes and I do work so uh, it took me a little bit longer than normal to um, get the mileage on this bike. However, it has come time for me to perform the maintenance on this bike. 
bike calls for every 9,000 miles, and I service this at 4,500. So to do the service on this motorcycle, last evening I changed, I changed the oil, which requires this filter and these two screens to be removed. These are your oil drain plugs. These were way over spec on uh, being tightened up. Um, if, if I had to guess, they were in the 50 to 60 per, uh, pounds per inch. These, this top one, this top nut, there's one just like this at top. It's an eight millimeter bolt. It had to be in there at 30 pounds per inch. And the nut was stripped off. Unbelievable. To service the air filter, the fairing needs to be taken off, the gas tank needs to be taken off. There's about eight to ten, there's about eight to ten Torx uh, bolts that go into the fairing here. Uh, none of them were in the right place, and they were loose. There are even a couple that have been stripped out. In addition, this tank in the front is held down by this bolt and sleeve. That bolt and sleeve thread into the frame right here. And if you look, I'm not sure if the camera will pick up, this hex head bolt is stripped out. I was able to get the tank off, get that bolt out. Next was to remove the air filter cover. The air filter cover is held on by these little eight millimeter bolts that go in there. They're actually self-threading into the plastic. You'll notice that there's one, two, three bolts missing. And this one was almost out. So there was no nothing holding the back side of this on. And like I said, this one was, was almost out. <laughs> um, luckily, there wasn't too much dust inside my air filter. However, I've got to replace this because someone has cross-threaded or gouge the threads out of three locations. Those bolts will not go in there. Let's look at right here. This hole, there's supposed to be a circle here that a retention clip goes on. That's completely ripped out. On the swing arm, each one of these screws, these torque screws, were so tight I had to bend up the washer pans, these little metal washer pans. And even with vice grips, it was really difficult to get them out. And then I had to replace each one of those screws. The pack for those screws is like eight bucks. I mean, it's not much, but when you add it to everything else. Typically, I do my own maintenance on the bikes, and I don't go to dealerships. This was the big 18,000-mile service, and I figured I wanted to do a baseline and get everything up to spec. And really thought that the dealership was going to give me at least fair service. So far, that's what I've found and what I've had to deal with. Obviously, after a year and a half since this thing came back from service, they're not going to do anything for me. They weren't going to do anything for me three hours after the service. Uh, I find it unfortunate. It is very expensive at a premium motorcycle dealership to have your bike serviced. That big service for this bike was nearly two thousand dollars I have no words I'm assuming that uh, whoever that mechanic was uh, used some either he's a very poor mechanic or used some um, shop help or something like that to disassemble and assemble my bike um, just it's just awful and I just I don't have words for it uh, cost a lot of money cost me a lot of time and now it's costing me even more money because I've got to replace that that air box on there and my bike's gonna be out of service again um, so my 
advice to you is find another mechanic if you have to have your motorcycle serviced, whether it's a KTM, a BMW, a Triumph, whatever, I would stay away from Goazi motorcycles.